What's going on guys? Chris back with you with another review video and first impressions. We're going to look over this thing. We're going to see what it has, the capability means of it, and what does it do. What I'm talking about is bah, the G-Ro, the G-R-O carry-on suitcase to be precise. If you guys have never heard of this, it's the smart carry-on suitcases. They also make check-in ones as well. I think they even make backpacks. Again, I will link this in the description box below. You guys in the UK, I got you guys covered. Look in the description box below. US, description box below. Anyway, it's a beast. It's awesome. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, let's go ahead and walk through this bad boy. We have, again, a dust cover. It comes with a dust cover. Drawstring. That's cool for storage if you keep it in your closet. Let's go ahead and pull it on out and take a closer look at it here. I have the black on black, meaning black on black wheels. Now, they do come with many different color scheme wheels. Red, white, I believe like aqua blue. Some sick color schemes. It looks fantastic. So the first thing we notice right off the bat is huge wheels. They're thin, but they're very large. They're measuring in at slightly below eight and a half inches or so. And obviously they're round, so it's gonna be the same width across. The link below will give you all specs that I don't cover, but again, this is just slightly above, including the handle, around 22 inches, again, including the handle. And the width is, guesstimation because it's a little bit hard if it's not completely square we're looking at about 10 or a little bit less than 10 height and then wide we're looking at about a little under 14 about 13 and a half wide but again the link in the description will give you full specs bag weight empty etc okay let's go ahead and start with the back here absolutely fantastic of course your handle goes down in here pushes up and it's collapsible and it's very very long not even sure if the camera's picking that up. Entirely, you have three, one, two, and three up. Collapsible, very nice. Here we have a zipper pouch right here. And this zipper here has a nice little storage unit for your spare battery. And this one on this side is more of an expandable netting bag here. So that's kind of cool, that's for expandable. And then of course this one is just passport, an extra battery, etc. Here we have our address luggage tag information. It's really cool, it's like, pulls out and zips back in. Someone could just take a little peek and pulls back in like that, absolutely great. We have a little QR code reader right there. The bottom is fantastic. We've got some nice little rivets here. Definitely nice high quality. We got material, all this is material, and then all this is plastic with material all right here and here on the sides. Moving over to the side of the bag here, we have a handle here. It doesn't pull out or anything, but you can just slip your fingers in there. Of course, our wheels here and our little locking system here. And in this case, you bring your zippers over here and then you insert them in here like this and like this here and that locks them without the need for an external lock. And then you would just push this little button to the side, it releases that. And then this one releases this one here. You have that as well for the bottom zippers here. You have a three digit code up top as well. And then right here. Here we have another little zipper here and then what that does is it expands it. So that gives an extra about an inch or so if you needed a little bit more room from coming down here to about up to this position here. Flipping it over to the other side here, this is where the expandable zipper ends right here. And we've already looked at that a little bit, but that is your bottom there. Okay, let's come around to the front of the bag here. Let's start with our first zipper pocket up front which folds down, and this is where all your goodies are located right here. I'll try to walk you through this a little bit here. Okay, inside the front pocket, we have a nice little mesh pocket here, and then a nice deep area here, a lot of little small pockets here, a little strap right there for your battery, which you unlatch, and you have your battery pack right here, we're gonna get to in just a second. A nice big pocket for small laptop tablet, of course your battery pocket I just mentioned, and then another strap here, which breaks away, and then a nice large deep pocket right there. We do have two cords that are coming out the side of the bag right here, and these cords are a USB and also another USB, and those cords go down and through the bag and connect to the smart system we're gonna to get to in just a second here. So here is the battery pack here. It's the G-Row Mobile Power. The battery is a Lily Palmer, if you pronounce it. 
Capacity is 23,000 milliamp, 85 WH, and all the specs are there if you want to pause the video and take a look at that. Here on top, we have a DC in, a DC out, and we have two USB outputs at 5 volts, 2.1 amp, and this one is 5 volt, 1 amp right here. So we have a faster charging one and more of a slow rolling charger one here. On the front of the battery pack, let's go ahead and hit that. I believe this battery needs to be charged, so I'm getting nothing when I hit this here. So I might need to recharge that. Turning over to the side here real quickly, we do have another nice large pocket, and that is on the outside flap of the bag there. Let's go ahead and zip that one up, and now we'll get to the main portion of the bag here. Let's go ahead and open this. The zippers come all the way down to the end here. And then this opens up all the way here, which we have another lined interior mesh bag there, a mesh pocket here, a large mesh pocket. And I do have all the accessories. We'll get to that in just a split second. And inside the bag is a very nice open shell with a nice zippered mesh lined pocket on the side of the bag there. On the interior inside, there's nothing on this side here. There's just the one line mesh bag there with nothing in the front either. Now when your battery is fully charged and is in the pocket location here, I will show that in portion of the video after I charge the battery pack, you lift up this little flap right here and you have your two USB outputs here for charging your devices while you're at the airport or even if this bag is in front of you under the seat if it does fit. You do have a little loop hook here if you needed to attach another bag or whatnot there. And that is it for the bag. Let's go ahead and get to some accessories now here. Okay, the first accessory is the garment bag here. And the garment bag has some pads here and here. So it's very nice not to crinkle your suit. Obviously you would just lay your suit inside there. Has even an opening right here for your hanger. And then you would just fold it up however you like. And the pads keep it nice and padded. If you have that stacked in your bag with shoes on top, etc. That looks great here. Let me just show you a close-up shot of those pads, the zippers there, where your hanger would come through there. That's a great little accessory that the company offers. And again, it's all gonna be linked in the description box below. Next one is gonna be some second bag straps. And that's what would go on this little hook right here would be your second bag strap. So you have that accessory there. And if you feel frisky, I have an additional one there. And then this is the box for the power pack here. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. And inside is all the information for your locks. We've already seen the battery pack, but inside are the accessories here. You have the different European plugs here your information, your charger with your input, all your different plugs, universal, and then all your different plugs. I mean, this bag and accessories has you covered. We have a USB to micro USB, and we have another plug with ends like that there, all wrapped up for your pleasure there. And lastly, we have the location accessory here. This is a very cool device. Let's go ahead and take a little look-see at it. It's the GORO tracker on and off. It's pretty much a GPS unit device. Once it's charged, we have a battery indicator up top there. On and off switch. The charging accessory USB to micro USB would charge this. And you have your wall adapter and charging plug for that in the box here. And your user manual, of course. You do need to download an app and that's available in the Google Play Store or iTunes Store. All the instructions are in your manuals there. Okay, I got it charging now. And the little LED indicator light right here flashes the percentage of the battery pack, which is really nice. And I was taking a closer look at all the plugs. They really have you dialed in with every laptop plug-in you want. This battery pack is large enough to recharge that when you're on the go. For you travel vloggers, consultants, you name it. Again, more plugs and more plugs. They have you covered for sure. All right, I wanna show you a really cool feature of the battery pack here. This is really, really awesome, guys. It's universal, it's fantastic. Let me show you what we do here. So we hit it on, it's 36%, it's not fully charged yet, but I just wanted to show this to you. We're looking at nine volts, right? Let's go ahead and hold it down, and it starts blinking on us here. Nine volts starts blinking, and we cycle through 12. Output would be 12, 16, 19, 20, back down to nine. So again, whatever different device, obviously for your laptops, you're going to need a beefier voltage. So what you do is you just look on the back of your laptop charger. If it's 19 volt, 18 volt charger, Dell, Sony, whatever, 
switch it to the appropriate one. Let's go ahead and slip this in. Let me show you an example of charging. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is plug your USBs into your external power pack. Now they are labeled here, one and two. And so you wanna look right here and I have it upside down, I'm sorry, but two and one. Okay, so whatever one you plug it into, Let's go ahead and plug one into the one amp one. That will be your slower charge one. One for one amp one. And the second one will go into the two amp one. That will be your faster charging one there. Okay, now I'm gonna walk you through a few cons and if the company does see this, these cords need to be at least one to two inches longer. I actually had to take it out of the cord management system Velcro there just so that it latches on better here and the cables aren't tight coming into the bottom here. And the easiest thing to do also is snap this in so the battery pack doesn't go anywhere and then plug in your cables there. Now that we're all plugged in to go, we come up here to the top, of course lift up your flap and let me show you how it's done here. Okay, here I'm charging two devices. I got an iPhone plugged into this one here and then we have a Android phone charging right with our LED light there and coming over here to charging our iPhone right there, looking great. But of course, switch it over the proper voltage, plug in your laptop adapter, whatever adapter like I showed you earlier in the video, plug that in, start charging your laptop, etc. The wheels are fantastic, very smooth and nice. It feels great tugging it along. You're gonna be actually having your handle up. So let's just go real time right here. I leave it up, I walk away. That's working out fantastically. So let's go ahead and lower the handle here. So let's say you're just carrying it along and you set it real quickly here. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that thumbs up button if it has given you a more informed decision regarding what it is, if you even wanna purchase it or not, or some functionality of it, and is it right for you? Again, look in the description box below for these links. You can look at the different color schemes, all that awesome stuff. Put it through a test run yourself, see how the reviews, it's all below. Smash that thumbs up, subscribe, because I got a lot more reviews in the books waiting for you. Take care, I'll see you in the next one. My name's Chris. Mm -hmm.